Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to incorporate these ground earthquake cracks in HitFilm Free. These ground earthquake crack assets come from Production Crate. I will leave a link in the description below so you can go get those and play with them in your footage yourself. There are actually a few ways to be able to do this so I'm going to start by creating a new composite shot and it will be the picture of the street and notice that it's 1920 by 1080 I'm just gonna make this a three second long comp and then I'm just gonna drop this street picture in and maybe fit it to the frame just like that so this becomes my working picture and then if I create another new composite shot and I call this street final and click OK, I can go ahead and bring in the picture of the street in there. And what I will do is I'm going to just store these extra comps in this comp folder. And now I can just go ahead and bring in my first ground crack asset, which I think I will use this one. Adjusting this slightly, all I have to do is just come into the transform properties and change it up a little bit. Very nice. So now the simplest and easiest way to do this would be to simply right click on this and change the blend mode from normal to overlay. And if that looks good enough to you, then that looks good enough for me as well. And it does look pretty good. Now you can see that there's a little bit of a discoloration there. So all you have to do is put a tint on that. And then depending on whether it's too dark or too light, you'll either tint the black or the white part. I'm going to go ahead and up that. In this case, I'll need to tint the black part a little bit. And there we go. And now you can see that it's a little bit lighter and it doesn't look too terrible now also I might add a brightness and contrast effect and just increase the contrast so that it looks a little bit more aligned with the lighting of the scene so this is sort of the first way to do this but if I were to grab a different picture say for example this tennis court and drop it in here and then I were go back you can see that that doesn't look nearly as good as the other picture did so Let's talk about how to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to create another new composite shot and this will be called the picture of the sidewalk. And now I'm going to drag this sidewalk picture in and I'm just going to make a few adjustments here. Now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to create another new composite shot. We'll call this one sidewalk final. And again, I will drag the picture of the sidewalk into that composite shot. Now I will grab a different one let's grab this one instead we'll drag this in here and again I just want to make a few adjustments here so now again if I were to simply change the blend mode then this isn't going to look very good a different way of changing the blend mode would be to go controls and then blend and again overlay that looks terrible so that's just not going to work so what I'm going to do is go back to a normal blend mode from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this and make it into its own composite shot I will go ahead and move everything with it including the masks and effects as well as the uh, timing and all that sort of a thing bringing it in here so now I have this what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add a keying element to this and the key will actually be a luminance key so I will drag that on here and I want to key out the brighter and then I'm just going to adjust the threshold until the brighter parts are now gone going back to the sidewalk final you'll now see that that looks a lot better a lot better only showing the inside of the crack itself then again, if I want to add my brightness and contrast effect, I can drop that right onto the footage and then increase the contrast. And I can even take down the brightness a little bit, although probably doesn't have to be too much. But again, I just want it to match the scene that I have here. 